What's up everyone? Guitar Hoarder here. Welcome to the channel and today we're going to take a look at a Dean Dimebag Daryl Dixie Rebel. Now before we begin, if I could please ask if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, hit that notifications bell, leave some comments down below. Do you guys own one of these Dixie Rebels or any of the other Confederate flag dime bag guitars out there? Let me know in the comments, we're going to have a conversation about it and let's get into it. Back in 2014, I started to get a bit of a dime bag Daryl guitar collection going. This was based on the fact that the market at the time just wasn't favourable towards these guitars here in Australia and you could pick them up quite cheap. This one particular day, I was driving around with a mate of mine here on the Gold Coast. We were going through a place called Palm Beach and came across a guitar store, so we pulled over to check it out. It was called Ralph White Music. At the time, this store stocked a lot of beginner guitars, acoustics, electrics. They had a bit of a range of Ibanezes. But when we walked in the store, up the very back, I spotted this beauty. They had knocked the price down from about 2000 Australian down to 1200 I picked the guitar up and the neck felt absolutely awesome in my hand. One of their employees came over and gave me the usual sales spiel. It's such a great guitar. It won't last long at this price. We've had heaps of people come in and show interest in it. You need to jump on it today, blah, 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 the usual spiel. Knowing what the Australian market was at the time for the Dimebag guitars, I threw in an offer of under $1,000 and the employee said to me, sorry, I can't do anything less than $1,200. I said, no worries. I put the guitar back on the rack and I started to walk out. The employee said to me, surely you can come up with some more money, to which I replied, I can't, and I started to walk out the door. The employee then said to me, all right, let me go and talk to the boss. The boss, of course, being Ralph White, the guy whose name is on the front of the store. Ralph checked me out from behind the counter, saw I had a Pantera shirt on, and he said, you're a real dime bag fan. I'll do it for the price that you've just offered us and we'll even throw in a hard case that we've got out the back for it. Ralph said to me, they weren't stocking Dean guitars anymore, and he was quite happy to give it to a Pantera fan, and he told his employee to pack it up and run it through the till for me. I was super stoked that I grabbed this such, such an awesome price, and couldn't believe my luck. going to jump in now. We're going to check out the specs on this one. So it's a Dean Dimebag Daryl Dixie Rebel. They started production around 2006. I'm not 100% sure how long it went for in production. This one's made in Korea. It's got a mahogany top. It's got a mahogany body on it. And of course, it's got the Confederate flag finish on it. Now I'm from Australia, so I'm not on the different sides of what the Confederate flag stands for. I know a lot of people have these views when I post this guitar on my Instagram, but I stay out of that sort of stuff. To me, it's a dime bag guitar. He always had Confederate flag guitars in his rack, whether it's the normal style flag like this, or he had the wavy Rebel. They looked pretty sick to me when I was younger. Now this one's got a 24 3 quarter inch scale length. It's got a mahogany V set neck. Feels absolutely awesome to play. It's got a rosewood fingerboard. It's got the 22 frets. It's got the Grover tuners that Dean put on all these production models. It's got the black chrome hardware, looks awesome. It's got the Floyd Rose special bridge on it. For the pickups, we've got the dime bucker in the bridge from Seymour Duncan. And the next, probably a Dean DMT. Uh, we've got the dime bag traction knobs on it, which of course is like a signature thing for dime. Uh, came with the hard shell case, as I mentioned earlier. And I've got this one set up in C sharp standard. And let's check out some more riffage with it.
All right, so there you have my Dean Dimebag Dixie Rebel guitar. Thanks for watching this video. It's greatly appreciated. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the notifications bell. Let's have some conversations down below in the comments. Let me know what Dimebag guitars you own, or even if you do have one of these Dixie Rebels, be greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next video.